like to fight to them. Today, we will rule in honor. Woo! Today, we will be victorious against the enemy. And they will strike fear in our faces, but we will show them no mercy. I'm just yelling things now. Let's go. Let's fight. Win. 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 Woo! Hi guys. Ah, B. B flying on my window. Now he's on the other side of my car. Come here, Mr. B. We can be friends until I smash you. Yeah, why you? Why, why are you? Why you? Why is he like my car so much? Um, but yeah. So today is Monday. It is currently at twelve twenty. Got about ten minutes of lunch left, and then we go back inside for a short three and a half hour day. Hopefully short. It's a beautiful, beautiful 78 degrees today here in Ohio. And on top of that, to make matters even better, it is going to thunderstorm and rain at 4, which is when I get off work. So thank you, Ohio. Thank you so much for making this day so beautiful until I have to get off work and then making me not enjoy beautiful weather anymore. But, uh... Uh, I posted a video last night of everything that I got from my library book sale I went with my mom to on Saturday. It was pretty cool. My mom spent $14 on 110 books, which is phenomenal. And then it was funny to think that I spent $25 and only bought five books. But it's not to say that the five books that I bought were, you know, $20 or $25. I bought a lot of VHS movies and a lot of DVDs, and that's what added up to all the money. But it's fine because all the money goes to our local school district. And so little kids get to get new textbooks because I spent $25 on books from the library. Well, things from the library. but uh, So that was cool. Top of that, plus we got there early and found out that the sign they have up is wrong and they forgot to change it. So it started an hour after what we thought. So my mom went to save a lot to go buy some groceries and I bought four cases of Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Actually, I bought the last four cases of Mountain Dew Pitch Black because if you didn't know, um... Mountain Dew Pitch Black is, like, fucking amazing, and they only release it for a month every five years. Currently, there's a contest going on between Pitch Black and Baja Blast, and what, what the, whatever one wins will be able to be available all the time. So, i kind of hoping that Pitch Black wins so I can enjoy it all the time, but I hope it doesn't win because then it's just going to get to the point where it's, like, I'm so used to it, and I no longer want... To like get it because it's so special or it seems so special but yeah some rich guy had enough money to afford to buy his own flavor of Mountain Dew so he persuaded Mountain Dew into making him his own flavor to the point that he could drink it whenever he wanted anytime he wanted all year round and it was fine so Mountain Dew came out with pitch black and he tried it and he liked it and after he liked it, Mountain Dew came out and said, Okay, now look, this is the only way we're going to give it to you, is if you allow us to release it as a limited time offer deal every so often, blah, 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 you know, and then, um, and so that way people in public can enjoy it. And him and Mountain Dew settled on every five years. So for every five years, they release Mountain Dew, and then it goes nuts because people never get it. This is the third time I've had Mountain Dew Pitch Black in my life because it's been 15 years since they they start making it, and this would be the third time now that they've come out with releasing it. So 
It's so fucking good. Um, and I remember as a child buying it and drinking it, falling in love with it, and then having to go five years, and then five years later, I found it on vacation. Surprisingly enough, they released it on the day I was on vacation. So I was in some other state, and I was buying cases and cases and bringing them home. And now we got this one where it's now opened up here again, and here I am buying cases and cases of them again. So, I mean, it's it's really worth it. Plus, on top of that, so many other people like it that it sells out like that. So that's why when I found it, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to buy everything that's here because I don't want to not be able to enjoy it at some point pretty much. I really, really need to figure out where this pain is coming from, from my dentures. It's getting bad. It's just the point that it's getting hard to eat. And, like, I can sit here and bite, like, now, and it doesn't hurt. But the moment I actually shove some food in there and try to bite down the food, it hurts really bad. So, um, I'm not 100% swearing that this is the reason, but a half of me kind of makes it feel like it has something to do with the fact that my <coughs> dentures haven't been adjusted again like they were supposed to. And I was telling myself for a while there that, like, yeah, I'll fucking skip it for a while. And then, like, you know, if something big pops up and changes that I actually need to uh, have, you know, them fixed or whatever, then I would just go do it. But now I'm realizing that they don't have an issue just sitting in my mouth. It's only the issue of when I chew, I think every time I'm biting down my denture, my denture is moving and the edges of it are actually, like, pushing and shoving and rubbing on certain spots in the back part of my mouth. And that's why my gums are so sore. Uh, like I said, I don't know for sure, but if I had to guess, I'd say that was prob that's probably most likely what is causing this current pain, and uh, and so that kind of sucks because it's like six hundred bucks to get a new or a new adjustment because I didn't go on time, and it would would have uh, it would not have cost like half that much, but since I haven't gone yet. I'm still, I'm, and since I haven't gone, I didn't go when I was supposed to. Now I have to pay the full price, which is like 660 bucks to get them readjusted, which is fucking outlandish. But hopefully, I was thinking like, you know, they said it would take about a full year until your mouth is completely done, like healing and changing and everything. So I was just trying to wait as close as I could to that year mark so I could then just get one final adjustment and then hopefully never need them adjusted again. But... By the looks of it, we might have to end up going and getting them adjusted now, like soon, and then, um, um, and then after that, hopefully, then we just won't have to worry about it, and after a year has actually been up, which, I mean, it's been eight months, so, I mean, it's been close already, but maybe then after that's already done, fuck you, B, get out of here, um, maybe I won't need to get an adjustment, which would save me money and time, which would be fantastic kind of short video ish today just because it's eight minutes normally i go longer than eight minutes but i'm gonna actually go now guys i got one of the older gentlemen running a machine for me and i just want to make sure that i'm not out here too long so if anything bad with those parts come out or something like that i'm, a, I'm able to catch him because he's not 100 percent sure as to what you know what's important what's supposed to be good what's considered not good I tried to explain to him before i went to lunch but you can't really explain um, specifications of um, of quality control to somebody when you have like five minutes to explain and then like I said I was only out here for 30 minutes so just trying to trying to make sure he understood what he's doing wasn't gonna burn the shop down so I'm gonna go if you like this video like would be much appreciated and if you're new you should subscribe to keep up with this awesome daily content that's now actually starting to come out on the weekends like they should have for the last like eight months now but you know i, I kind of do what i want so um but yeah so now it's all it's like daily pretty much and all the time it's monday through friday for sure and saturday and sunday are just kind of up in the air if i have something and want to do it then i'll do it but um if you are already subscribed to this channel you should share a video get your friends involved you know grow this channel help people to learn to understand what life is really about and uh yeah it's 
about, that's about all I got for now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoy your day, your night, your evening, your morning, your afternoon. Whatever time it is that you're watching this. Whatever day it is that you're watching this. I want you to enjoy it. Please. Please. Because I'm not having a bad Monday. And that's a surprise because Mondays kind of suck usually. So, yeah. Bye.